Hello again. So in the previous videos, we have seen how easy it is to starting Apache Ozone with the help of Docker Compose locally. And usually the next question is that if it's so easy, why don't we use it from the CI? Why don't we start uh, Ozone clusters everywhere and just uh, test it? And I really like this question because the answer is very simple. This is what we do. So if you check the Ozone CI, you can see multiple tests here, some kind of code quality test, check style, spot box. Uh, we have unit test, we have integration test, but still J unit test. And here the acceptance tests are Docker Compose based real clusters, which are tested uh, by robot framework. So today I would like to talk about uh, the robot framework and the way how do we use it. And I would like to share some details that how it can be used in a more effective way. So Robot Framework itself, it's a third party open source uh, acceptance test framework. It's very easy to use. And uh, how does it look like? Well, the tests usually are very simple, even with JUnit test, what do we need? What we need is just uh, calling different type of methods and after that just doing some assertion, checking the output. So this is exactly what we what we need, but we would like to execute uh, command line commands, for example. So how, d how does it work with the robot framework? I need a robot framework file. And the syntax is very uh, simple. I can write test cases. Each of the test cases has a name, test one. And the only important part is it doesn't matter. It does matter if you use one space or multiple space. So let's say I'm using the log method or log keyword. And the arguments should be separated into two spaces because the keyword itself can have some space in the names. So let's say I'm just logging something and I'm executing it. Robot test dot robot. Yeah, and it's passed. And one thing, one uh, reason why we use it, that it's very, it has a very good report. So let's check it. Yeah, it's fully passed. We have this suite, we have this test name, and we have this log. So this log is just one keyword. There is a lot of built-in keywords. Uh, for example, in the operating system library, uh, we can use a lot of, let's try to check, for example, that a file should exist. So I'm just going back to the test robot. I need a settings section library operating system because it was part of the operating system and now I can write file should exist. You can see that here I have spaces but this is just part of the name and I if I use two spaces now it's the first argument argument. So yeah it looks good and just let's try to execute it again. Oh file should exist no keyword with a name file should exist found so the real name is file should exist operating oh here i use just one space right and it's definitely two space because it should be the argument of the settings so let's try to execute it again and yeah it's best and one very powerful thing in the robot framework that we can organize multiple uh, keyword execution to new keywords. So I can just do some my test. And here I can just copy everything from here, for example, uh, and put it to here. And even if there is a space here, it should work. So now I have an own keyword and the definition is here. So this is what we use in Ozone. Usually all of our executions are some, we have some utility uh, keywords. And after that we can just uh, execute.
Yeah, and it's still passed. Okay, how can it be really used together with Ozone? So I'm in the Ozone directory. So this is the, it can be either the destination directory of the build. So this one, or if you download the Ozone Tor file, you will see the same and you can just go to the Compose Ozone and there is a test sh script. You can check, you can just execute it and the new Docker Compose cluster will be started and a lot of robot test uh, uh, scripts will be executed. But because it's a, it's a lot of tests, it's a lot of time. So let's try to do something which is more simple. Let's try just one, let's just start one cluster. So I have an ozone cluster here running. I'm going to one of the containers. I'm in the slash opt Hadoop, all of the files are here. And we have this smoke test folder where we have all of the robot tests. So it's part of the distribution. If you have Kubernetes cluster or standalone cluster, any kind of cluster, you can just execute the test and, and you can check if they work. So let's go to the, the basic and just try to execute the basic robot. Okay, check web UI static resources. It's already passed and it starts something as uh, free on testing. And we'll see how does it work. Oh, it's failed. What's wrong with here? Okay, you can see that here the, the current directory is the smoke to slash basic where we got some log HTML. So let's go out and because the full ozone directory is just mounted, we can go back to the same directory basic. And here we go. We have all of the reports. So let's check the report HTML. And here we can see the failure. And here the very important trick is that because we have some custom keywords, you don't need to check the last red line, which is usually the failure. But we are interested about the previous lines, because in the previous lines, usually we print out some logs and information what happened. So, so the execution itself is, uh, is uh, somewhere before the red line, because this is just the assertion. And after the execution, we have the exact command. Okay, so this is the command which is executed. And this is the output of the command. And I can see the original error. In this case, the main uh, problem is that I started only one data node, not multiple data nodes. So it can be easily fixed. But the lesson what we learned here, that it's very easy to start any kind of robot test locally. You just you can just start one cluster, go to the container and execute the robot test. If you would like to execute multiple tests, you can uh, also use this uh, test SH. I will try to use it, but here we execute a lot of tests. So I'm just uh, deleting most of them. And you can see that the main part of this script is nothing more just starting the Docker environment, executing robot tests and stopping the environment and generating report. The problem is that because this is for CI, the environment will be stopped until uh, the execution of this script, which makes harder to debug problems locally. So what I will do is just I can set this keep running magic variable, which means that please don't stop the mm, environment after the test. If you are really interested, it's uh, defined in this test lib as age in the upper directory, which includes uh, the definition of this simple bash, bash scripts. So now I can just uh, start with the test as age. And after some quick jump in the time, you can see that the cluster is started and now the tests are executed. 
So, and still the cluster is running. So if something is wrong, I can just check the results, which are saved to the results directory. And even the logs are saved to here. And I can just let check the log HTML, just the last green line before the red line. And I can just try to reproduce the problem and fix it. And that's all. Okay, let's go back. We discussed about the spaces, that it's important to use two spaces when we have a separation between arguments and the keyword's name. We execute it test manually and we understand how it can be debugged. And keep running one important command is that the rebot. So usually I use the robot uh, command, but I can also use the rebot and it's two different command. So if you don't have any uh, results in HTML form for some reason, but you have the XML report. So this XML is always generated. The HTMLs are not always generated. So if the HTMLs are missing, but you have this result, the only thing what you should do is do a rerun based on the XML, which is not a real rerun, just the rerun of the HTML generation. So this is rebot, not robot, rebot. And yeah, I have the XML. So it's very handy. I used a lot of times if I didn't have any report, I just generated one and uh, I can check it. And yeah, everything is executed. So these were the most used features of the uh, robot framework. The robot framework documentation is, is pretty good and it's very well defined. There are some additional features like variables. Oh, this is the pipe separated format. We use this space separated format. So like variables or return values, but it's quite simple. And most of the time we are just executing the ozone command. And with from bash script, we are starting and stopping cluster. Sometimes we are restarting the cluster to to check the resilience. So that's what we have about the robot framework. And next time we can see additional details about the testing. Thank you very much.